The international break is finally over. No more Gareth Southgate ball until June. We're back with Alex Neal's football. And how brilliant has it been in the last couple of weeks? Today we've made the trip to Coventry. I do worry slightly that the break has sort of killed off a little bit of momentum. It seems to be the recurring theme of Stoke. Whenever we get some good momentum, we do, you know, there's an international break or something of the like. The running starts now though, eight games of this championship season remaining. And it's all about getting as high up that table as we possibly can. We're not going to get promoted, we're not going to get relegated, just some good performances, hopefully similar to the last sort of five, six games that we've played. I think we're only five points off 12th place Preston, so I think if this momentum keeps going, we probably could break into that top half, and I think given where we were sort of a month ago, I'd have, you know, snapped your hand off for it. Really looking forward to this trip, though. 2,600 Stokies are going there today. Really, really good support considering Coventry's astronomical ticket prices. But yeah, without further ado, let's get down to Coventry. Come on, Stoke. <laughs> Trying to get 
Half time, 2 0 Stoke, and what a first half it was. An early goal from Jacob Brown separated the sides. Really good move from the left hand side. Brown was there to slot it in. Just before the interval, Tyrese Campbell scored Stoke's 50th goal of the season. I mean, it was a really good counter attack from a Coventry corner. I think it was Hoover that got it away. Really good ball over to Campbell, who was on the break. He did well to put it into the back of the net. Laurent was there if Tyrese fancied being a little bit more unselfish, but he got it into the back of the net. That's all that mattered. We've been, we've pretty much dominated the half. Powell's had a couple of chances. Campbell had a really good chance, probably about five minutes before he slotted it away, where he had a shot from the edge of the box. We've been really solid at the back, to be fair. Really impressed with Ben Wilmot. Um, ben Pearson, class acts as always in that midfield. We don't look like we're slowing down on the scoring front either, so hopefully we can, you know, make it three, four, potentially even five. I don't want to get too greedy, but, you know, I'd absolutely love it to, to come away from here with, with four goals. There's no reason why we can't do it. Yeah, let's get into the second half. Come on. It's going to be another Coventry corner. Forced by a superb Jack Bonham save. Ball comes in, floated in. Into the back step. Powell gets first contact. It's going to be cleared by Pearson. Pearson gets brought down. It's going to be a foul our way. Still misses the tackle. Allows Garbo to get in. He's put Jack Elker on the floor. And it's... Oh.
brilliant to see it's so annoying that we didn't get on this run you know four or five weeks earlier because we could be so much higher up we're going the right way to finish as strongly as we can and it, it's absolutely superb again and I'm, I'm really struggling to point towards how good these performances are we've got the big Easter weekend to come a tough trip to St Andrews on Easter Monday to face Birmingham but before that it's Bristol City on Good Friday hopefully again another good performance but I mean you know just great at the moment the performances the free scoring form the amount of goals we're putting in is brilliant and every player looks fearless and you know it, it's brilliant hope you all have enjoyed come on 